Hi, I'm Maddie. Have you ever considered if you can really trust your brain? The brain is an amazing organ. It's where we perceive ourselves to be, and in reality, it's where your entire universe exists. Your family, the air, the world around you, everything you've ever known and will ever know are only represented by neurons firing around in your head that say they exist. Sounding like the Matrix yet? And it gets more disturbing still when you discover that your brain is already making things up on your behalf. For starters, your eyes are actually seeing the world upside down. When light hits your lens, it bends to project a flipped image onto your retina. And because an upside down world where things fall upwards and people stand on their heads is quite hard to reconcile with your physical perceptions, your brain flips the image to keep it in line with reality. In 1897, psychologist George M. Stratton wore some world-reversing glasses to flip his world upside down once more. Reportedly, after several days of wearing them, his brain began to adapt and learn, flipping his world back round again. Babies haven't yet learned how to do this, so all you new parents are actually appearing upside down. In fact, your brain is often trying to second guess your eyes. It takes your brain about 100 milliseconds to process an image, which might be the difference between life and death, or catching a ball before it hits you in the face, so instead it tries to predict the future. You can see it nicely in this drawing. These two lines are in fact not bulging in the middle, but are perfectly straight. But the background line suggests that you might be moving very quickly towards the central point, a little bit like the warp drive scenes from Star Trek. As your eyes wander to the centre of the image, your brain calculates that you're moving closer to these two lines, at which point they'd appear to look further apart. Your brain is quite literally giving you a vision of the future, albeit a wrong one. Most of all, your brain loves to make sense of things and to provide a story for what's happening and why. It's known as narrative bias and regardless of the facts, your brain will protect that story to the bitter end. It's how we construct reality and reason in our worlds. For example, if I tell you that my great aunt spontaneously combusted, you might not believe me. However, if I tell you that my great aunt spontaneously combusted after a mystery drug trial, suddenly things start to seem more plausible. In fact, it presents two very unlikely stories, which when combined make them even less likely. But your brain likes to weave and connect information into a story because it just hates random sequences of events that lead to nothing. A further example comes from the US Air Force, which trains pilots for G-Force by whizzing them around inside a giant centrifuge. At some point, the pilots usually black out and often report weird goings on, such as dreams, delusions, or even out-of-body experiences. James Winnery, a professor working with the pilots, noted how similar these were to near-death experiences floating above yourself, being surrounded by your loved ones, and even seeing a light at the end of a tunnel. As their brain was being bombarded by chaotic sensory overload, it clung to any narrative it could string together, even resorting to putting consciousness outside of the body where it's not seemingly dying. Regardless of sensory information, your brain will create something that it can comprehend. So it seems that you and I will never know an objective reality where facts are facts. Yep, even here on Earth Unplugged. What you're seeing now isn't generated by those objects. It isn't even the light coming through your pupils. It's just a series of chemical reactions happening in your brain case. And that means they're subject to influence. So the question might not be, can you trust your brain? But can you trust anything? Well, yes, you can. You can trust the scientific method. Experiments to get raw, unedited, objective data. 
And while academics may interpret that data in a myriad of different ways, arguing the causes and conclusions, one thing stays constant. The data won't shift. So you can trust science, but it's up to you to question who's revealing it. For more brain-busting videos just like this one, then subscribe to the channel and we'll see you soon on Earth Unplugged. Is a bigger brain a better brain? The record size for brains in the animal kingdom goes to the sperm whale, weighing in at 7.8 kilograms or 17 pounds. That's five times heavier than my own grey matter. Scientists have actually measured the water density of these clouds, and in one cubic meter of cloud, which is about this much, there is just a quarter of a gram of water, which is about this much.